Hello friends, welcome to bisptrainings.com. My name is Sumit and this is my next video in Jayathan tutorial series. In this video, I will be going to tell you how to create a spreadsheet using Jayathan. Many times a software application is required to generate reports in different formats and mainly they prefer to prepare reports in Microsoft Excel file format. So sometimes an application is even accepted to receive Excel files as an input data. So for example, an application developed for the finance department of a company will be required to generate all their outputs in an Excel file. So we have got the data, we have collected the data, we'll be collecting the data from the clients. Uh, and then uh, we would like to generate the data, we would like to store the data in an Excel format. So this can be done by Jayathan easily, but for doing the same in Jayathan or for exporting the data in an Excel file using Jayathan, one open source is required and that open source called Apache POI. So first let's understand what is Apache POI and then we'll see how to create an spreadsheet by using Apache POI. Apache POI is a popular API and it allows the programmers to create, modify or display MS Office files. MS Office files in the sense we can use Apache API, Apache POI to create Excel sheets, to create Word document or, Apa or other Office files as well using Java codes, Java programs. And it's an open source library developed and distributed by Apache Software Foundation, which can be used to design and modify the Microsoft Office by using the Java programs, by using Java code. And it also contains classes and different met methods or various methods to decode the user input data or a file into MS Office documents. So Apache POI is a 100% open source library, which is provided by Apache Software Foundation. And most of them, small and medium scale application developed depends heavily on Apache POI. It supports all the basic features of Excel libraries. However, rendering and text extraction are its main features. So the features which are available with Apache POI in the combination of HSSF plus XSSF is we can create charts, we can apply various formats for data processing. We can perform the data rendering by using print area, print spreadsheet, print workbook, print formulas and all for importing and exporting for results sets, arrays, collections and also it can support multiple formats. It can support in XLS format and Excel SX format. So as required, we can use any one of them. So we need to import this open source. First of all, we need to so we need to download and uh, set up the Apache POI on, all, on, on our local system. Then only we can use it along with Java programs or with Jython. So I have already downloaded. So first of all, the requirement for Apache POI is that first of all, you should have Java library installed on local system. Second thing is we need to set class path variable as well as path variable for Java. Third thing is download Apache POI and extract it. So I have already done that. I have already downloaded the Apache POI up POI bin 3.14 and I have already downloaded and here we have various jar files which we need to include in our Java uh, the same uh, the same place where Java file has been included or we can set the class path variable separately so I've already done that so let me show you that where I have set the class path so by going into system properties advanced system second settings environment variables and if you look at the class path, I've already set the class path for the files. So let me open this. Yeah, so that's the class path I have set for the packages. And because I have already copied on my C drive in as a POI 3.14. So that's why I have used the same path here. And the files which we which will be requiring for this. 
So first of all is POI 3.14. These are the files which is required 3.14 and uh, will be requiring POI OXSML, POI XS schema, schema and uh, there is another file uh, which is called POI POI OOX uh, that is called XML Beans 2.60 ZAR that will be available under XML lib so that this file is required so I have set the path the system the class path for same as well as I have set the path as well so and in path if you look at the path I have already set the Java path so if I show you this you can look here the Java path has already been set C drive program file JDK bin folder so once all the class path and the path has been set it's time to move on and writing the code so I'm going to use the Python interpreter for writing this code because that will help me or you can say the Python script editor because that will help me to write the program in proper indentation it might be possible that after even after installing after uh, even after setup the path you will be getting some issues in loading the files so for that I will be going to tell you how to sort out that so first of all from java.io and import file output stream from java dot util import date from java dot lang import system comma math and I'm going to use system as well import sys because I'm going to set the system path as well sys path dot append and the location will be the file location will be C drive and the POS folder so that's the POS folder so I copy this path from the location from here and the PO Apache POS ZAR file so the Apache ZO POS ZAR file is the same file POI 3.14 and that's the date so flash dot ZAR next command will be from org dot apache dot poi dot hssf now you must be wondering what do you mean by hssf so hssf stands for horrible spreadsheet format and it is used to read and write xls format of ms excel files because we are going to read or writing the excel file so that's why I use hssf format dot user model import star then from org dot apache dot poi dot hssf dot util import hssf color I said the start time is equal to system dot current time and in milliseconds so it will extract the current system time in milliseconds and store into start time then I'm going to create a new workbook so I initialize a new variable is it workbook is equal to HSSF and work B should be in small so it's a case sensitive so we need to be very careful about the case sensitive file out again I create a new variable file out is equal to file output stream and I'm going to create a file on my D drive name as sales let's say as in capital sales dot Excel X next I'm going to create three sheets create three sheets so sheet number one is equal to WB dot create sheet and I give name as 
sheet one copy this sheet two sheet three and i rename them sheet two and sheet three so the names can be changed as as desired it can be renamed next is i'm going to create a header style for the sheets so we set style header is equal to wb dot create cell style and then we set the style like font header is equal to wb dot create font font header dot set bold weight so this should be in bold and the bold will be two two font font header dot set font height in points so it should be in 14 so that's the font size font header dot set font name alias or let's say sorry Arial not alias Arial and style header dot set font font header so we have set the header style then I, I set the styles so we are going to create a style used for the first column so style is equal to wb dot create cell style this is for first column font or uh, it should be style 0 font 0 is equal to wb dot create font font 0 dot set color hssf color dot red dot index and style 0 dot set font and I set the font 0 for the first cell then we are going to create the style which will be used for dates so let me move it up and I'm going to create create a style which will be used mainly for dates so I create a new instance style dates is equal to wb dot create cell style style dates dot set date format h s s f data format dot get bulletin format and the format will be mm dd yy hours and minutes so it should be in month date yy hours and mm now finally we are going to create header we are going to create the headers so for creating the headers i create row header is equal to sheet one dot create row one then we set the values to it so cell zero is equal to row header dot create cell zero cell zero dot set cell style style header the style which we have designed here the style header should be row the style header we define here style header I 
defined and then cell 0 dot set cell value I set the value as name now in this cell I'm going to add numbers so then I define for I in range and the range will be 0 to 8 to 1 cell is equal to row header dot create cell it will create a new cell with the incremented value i plus 1 so it should be in double quotes sorry double brackets then cell dot set cell style style header and cell dot set cell value it should be data plus str i plus 1 so it will it will store the incremented value next i'm going to define the dates so for defining date cell 0 is equal to row it should be in cell 10 because we have total 10 column 11 column uh, we have 10th column so that's a cell 10 is equal to row header dot create cell number 9 cell and in cell 10 dot set cell value as date and cell 10 dot set cell style as style header and finally we are going to add the values into it so to add the values again I start a loop for I in range 0 to 100 comma 2 sorry 1 and it will create a new row so row is equal to sheet 1 dot create row i plus 2 then again I start a new loop for j in range so this will be going to create new row and this and this will be going to create cell so the next loop will be going to create a cell so range will be 0 to 10 to 1 and then it will create a new cell so cell is equal to row dot create cell j and finally uh, I'm going to fill the first column with the string and then fill the next eighth column with the number so I'm I'm going to fill the first column with the string so I'll define here if j equal equal zero so if j equal equal zero then cell dot set cell value product plus str of i and cell dot set cell style style zero which we defined earlier and now we are going to fill the next eighth column with the number so I use elif if j is greater than 9 then so either I can copy this and uh, if it is greater than 9 so it will be filled with the number so it will be filled with random numbers so that's why I remove this static text and specify math dot random and it will be in the range of 100 and uh, else cell and finally the last cell will be filled with the date so it will fill with the current date and we set the style as well cell dot set cell style as style dates which we defined earlier and finally we are going to create the summary rows summary 
rows so row it should be in row summary is equal to sheet one dot create row one zero two sum style is equal to wb dot create cell style we are creating a new style for this we are adding we are uh, we are setting a font for same is equal to wb dot create font it is not necessary that you display the summary row but i am going to do that so that i will display the total of that so sum font dot set bold weight w should be in a small 5 sum font dot set font height in points it should be 12 sum style dot set font sum font sum style dot set fill pattern h s s f cell style dot fine underscore dots so these all are customization so if you want to remove means if you want to eliminate that you can remove it no need to specify that some style dot set fill foreground color and it should be hssf color dot yellow i'm going yellow yellow dot index. you can use any other color as well and to display this cell sum zero is equal to row summary dot create cell zero cell sum zero is the dot set cell value totals cell sum zero dot set cell style sum style which we defined just now and finally we are going to display the numbers so to display the total output cell b is equal to row summary dot create cell at index number one and cell b is dot set cell value we are going to use formula here so i use style i set the t y l e set style sum style and i'm going to add the formula because i don't have the sum for that so i use set cell formula and the formula will be sum of b3 to b102 and it will finally we write the file so wb dot write file out file out dot close stop time is equal to system dot current time milliseconds and I'm going to print a message as well that POI generation took how much time to create this percent D milliseconds to create this file this is just to 
represent the time so percent stop time and start time these are the two variables which we have defined that's the start stop time and we have a start time here so we are going to display that so that's all let's execute this code so to execute this code i'm going to save this file in not in python folder i'm going to save this under jython folder so i save this and i write create excel data and the extension will be dot py i'll save it and now to execute it to run it first of all switch to command cd backslash cd jython 2.2.1 and here i pass a command jython the name of the file the name of file is it's create excel data create excel data and i pass the command here create excel data dot py so you see i got a message here earlier i was getting a message because i spell it wrong but now once i spell it correctly i got a message that py generation took 568 milliseconds for generating the files to generate this file and now let's look at the file on my d drive and the file name is file name is the sales.xls so look at the file sales.xls that's the sales.xls file which is created just now you can look at the properties of this file this is created today and if you if you open this file we can look at the data so on sheet 3 i look at the data name data 1 data 2 up to data to date and that's the date in date and hours and seconds and product from 120 products will be there around 119 it's around 99 products are there because we range it to 99 less than 100 and the cell the column range the row range will be 102 that's why if you look at here in this formula i pass at 102 because i know that it will be going to create 99 records 102 so the final output will be displayed on 103 row and the total out total will be sum of b3 is to b102 if we execute it it will display as the output for this data one similar way we can display the output for data two as well for data three and so on so that's how we can create an excel file by using jython using apache poi open source library in my next video i will be going to demonstrate you how can we read the excel file by using the same apache poi library if you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisp20s.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel. If you want to know more about Jython from us, we'll be definitely sharing more videos, more interesting videos in Jython with all of you so that you can gain more knowledge on it. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.